Hey, what is up everyone? Brian with you from the game coming. We're playing some more Lords and Villains continuing here with our village and I don't know this might be the last episode for now Maybe I hadn't really decided yet. Um, I might get the hankering to play some more and then like pop back in Um, probably gonna be the last episode here for at least a couple days though Just because of um, like I mentioned work in the last episode So we will see but yeah, definitely gonna be back next month when um new update comes so I'm excited about that. Um Why does that have a different face? Is that because they're selling something? Uh, we should have also deleted this one. Yeah. Um, doesn't look like I have the wood. These require what? One wood? No, one plank. Which I feel like I have. Yeah, I feel like I still have planks, but maybe not. Maybe not. Uh no, no. I have wood. I don't have planks. That's right. Okay, so buy all of that. And I'm going to leave everything else. So that's going to give me planks. Um, we're not going to put them up for sale because we want our people to actually, you know, do what this so luckily when you salvage you get all your crap back which is actually really nice admittedly so go ahead and deconstruct these please and then let's go ahead and get the rest of them built boom 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 perfect insufficient child adoption oh all right trash pile it's still the same family one of the families which family here the raven oh um, yeah that's fine yeah, um, they should now get some leather working with the pigs and stuff, I think, I think, right? Actually, that's a really good question here. So, leather working, let's pop the zone here. Leather workshop uses what? Leather. Where do you get leather from? The tannery. Yes, which get the hides. Where do the hides come from? The butcher? Yes. Okay. So if our butcher's fully going, then that means both of these guys should be also fully going. Which is okay. What happened with this? It's kind of weird colored. I don't know. I'm wondering if they can get to it because of the, the block, but I mean they can always walk outside and build too, so that's part of their house, yeah. So they are gonna build it. These guys, the Funival family did get their um They're starving. God dang it. Um they did get their crap up though. Um I'm imagining they don't have a lot of anything. Because they just spawned in. They got a little bit of carrots. They got some gold, actually. I'll throw a little bit more their way, though. They're new. And I think they will pay for themselves. <laughs> you know what we should do here in the future? Literally only accept farmers and woodcutters. Or farmers and foragers. That's it. <laughs> right? Uh, why is this inaccessible? Oh, well, d okay. Delete... <clears throat> Admittedly, this is my fault, but Deconstruct them Deconstruct There you go Inaccessible structure Wait, wait, this apparently I think it's just everyone saying that they can't get into those 95% sure what's going on with that Alright, got another pig tamed Is that a cat? Meow Funival, they have kitties Oh, okay They can use the kitties to herd pigs Because it works that way, right? Oh, you know what I'm realizing? They're not going to be able to work the corners. Mm, interesting. So then... Okay. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Um, but that's an easy fix. Actually, just cancel that, please. So what we will do... Um... Yeah. Do something like that. We could also still put them here in the corner if we so wanted. But now everyone's going to be able to work. It's only doing three on each side, though. So, 5, 10, 16. Which is more than we need right now. So, I suppose that's okay. Right? 5, 10. Yeah, that's 16. So, that's enough. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. I swear to God, if this is the same crap, it's the same crap. Also, you know, that's, they have everything they need right here to eat. Where actually, where is it? It's right here. Yeah, they have carrots, they have meat, they have wood to build stuff. Can they not access this? Like, I don't understand. They have the stuff. It is there in their territory. 
So, not entirely sure. Okay, now they're going and picking crap up from it, so... <laughs> they just ate raw meat. Ravenolt. I'm not really too concerned about the new family, because I just gave them crap. Lacey, we know about. Ravenol is a question. Yeah, I don't know about them. Don't know about them. Um. No, we don't want hunters. Ever again. My god, seriously, though. Um. We'll give them a little bit. We'll give them a little bit. Supposed to, or we're about to get some new stuff here. But man, we went through like all of our crap here. Like, look at, like, we used to be like over 200 on so much now. And now we're like, Ugh. but it's about to be a new month. And keep in mind, we've not gotten anything since, uh, 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 cause last season was winter. So, you know, it has been a while. So for what it's worth, we have a lot of straw, which admittedly, means we should just have everyone queue up their roofs if we've not already. Hi, go build a roof. Build a roof. You don't even have a house, so. <laughs> build a roof. And the rich people can take care of their own roof. Or also these people that, you know, are farmers, essentially. <laughs> the farmers can build their own roofs. Um, the inn is actually all done. Way to go. We finally got it, man. We finally got it. And they're producing beer now, which is good. Look at all the deer that are right here, man. Ugh. Build your starving, I swear to God. I just gave you crap, so I don't really care. I know about the inefficient storage, or insufficient, even though, like, they literally could do this themselves. And I don't know why. Like, wooden planks. What about building it out of straw? That's an interesting question. I have 47 straw. I'm going to go ahead and cancel their walls and I'm going to let them build their house out of straw. Um, no, because they're woodworkers, dude. <laughs> no, if anyone <laughs> can use... Then again, I could wait until they start making money and then just redo it. This is true, too. I have to actually cancel it. That's that's annoying. Uh, plans to build. Mm, we're going to have to do it this way because I don't want to cancel all the other crap. So, all right, do that, and then we're going to do hay wall. And you can build a door. A door here. All right. They should be able to get that. Um, I don't know if I'm putting my hay up for sale right now. But we'll go ahead and do that. Or my straw, rather. But, you know, same thing. Same thing. So, caravan arrived. Good. How's our money doing? I imagine it's fine because we have, what, 17 gold before? Because we stole everyone's money? Uh, that's their gold. <laughs> I was like, two gold? What? Yeah, I'm at 17, so I have plenty. I think they t literally just took all the straw. I I'm pretty sure they just took all the straw. They're leave. Oh, nope, nope. Lies! <laughs> it said leaving, and then they literally just popped up to sell. Okay, so buy the wood, two. Buy the planks, 15. And I still don't need the rods. So then, wood and rods, once again, we will put up for sale, because uh, we keep doing this over and over and over again. Um, there's our wood, immediately is getting used, immediately getting sold, whatever. Animal is tame, that should be a pig. Good. I don't think there's chicken. I think they have to buy those other animals, like chicken, cows, and all that. Now, the thing is, I'm wondering if they can actually buy the cows, because it wasn't listed. So yeah, I don't know. Yeah, and so they have um, sheep right now. Interesting. Bastion family's starving. Of all the people that should be starving, the Bastion is not one of them. I'm just saying. I am just saying. Um, kind of wish you could put these in alphabetical order. That's straw, Brian, not gold. Did I look at their gold before, or their straw before, thinking they were rich? Maybe? Actually, you know what? I did raise their taxes. I did raise their taxes a lot. Yeah, okay, fine. Um, You can go down to zero, and let's say 50. Okay, so then you'll have a little bit. I don't know if that immediately changes their income then. So if we pop over here. 
Mm, maybe. Yeah, I might have. I might have bro uh, um, broke them with uh, too much, too much um, taxes. So, anyways, we'll give them a little bit of food then, because as an apology. Hey, I'm sorry for the whole, you know, bankrupting you. Here, you know what? You can have my hops too, because I don't actually care for it. Okay, there's some food. There is some food for you. We really need the new season because I, I need new food. I'm imagining with the double farmers um, basically all fully going, I should be making quite a bit. We should also be getting berries now too, which will be nice. Now, the thing that I, it's kind of weird is I kind of want animals too. Like, give me the pigs, you know? Like, why, why am I not taxing animals, man? Whatever. I wonder if I'm taxing the meat. I don't know. I don't know how that works. That's a wolf. Oh, he's so cute. I want to tame the wolves. He's like a little Parker. Yeah. Oh, he's a cute little Parker. Uh, Bastion family? No, Cannonville family. Oh my God. I swear to God. All I do is keep people alive. <laughs> all I do, man. I'm tempted just to let them. They don't have a lot of money. I'm gonna give them some extra money and see if they can handle this themselves. So, Cannonville, here's a gold. Go buy your own food. I, I mean, 100% some of this is like the Cannonville family. They just don't have people to sell their crap to because they are the blacksmiths. And I don't know anyone's actually buying their crap. So, unless they're selling planks and crap like that. Go, go forge some of the mushrooms that are on the ground, man. Another blacksmith. So once again, what are they? They produce... Oh, innkeeper. So yeah, they're producing steel plates, helmets, plate armor, which admittedly, no one's buying right now because there's no warriors or anything like that. Um, Same freaking trash. Can you guys please like go pick up your crap, man? Ugh, I don't know. Uh, how many chickens we got? Still just the two. No, we have three now. Nice. Yeah, so I wonder if they're, uh, yeah, I wonder if they're buying them or they bred. I don't know. And I'm wondering what I assume happens is they breed and then they kill the extra one. It's probably what happened with the animal death. Villager starving. I swear to God, Dione. Um, this is new. Yeah, then they're, they're not starving. I'm not worried about the Dione family. Nah, I'm not worried about them at all. Because they should have money. They should have everything. They should have forage crap. Like, they should be good. Uh, let's actually look here. <laughs> They're going to be broke. Just watch. It shouldn't be, though. Now, admittedly, yeah, they still have plenty of money. They don't have food. But, you know, once again, I want them to take care of themselves. Um, admittedly, having three different woodworkers is going to somewhat take their profits away from each other. But I don't think that's really the worst thing. And we kind of have them themed differently so kind of all right tax day Woo! favorite day of the month yeah yeah pay me peasants <laughs> uh it feels nice to be a rich boomer who has all the money and gets people paying him it's great i love it did you ever you did end up actually getting the oven built okay good Good, good, good. So that means they bought the stone blocks, which I was wondering about if they were going to do that. So Dione, uh, fine, fine, fine. This is it. No more. I'm giving you this one last chance. Otherwise, you're just going to starve to death. And it's going to be on you, not me, because um, I told you that this was it. <laughs> Cutting you off. And I ain't going to give you a lot of food, man. Just literally come to the store. Look, they're selling 16 carrots and four potatoes. They're selling fish. They're selling grain. Yeah, they're selling armor that literally no one's buying. Family is low on money. The Lacey family. That is fine if they starve. Who's low on money? The Bastion family. Didn't I just give them money? Did I not just give the Bastion family money? They have four... They have literally no money. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll contribute. What? Uh, actually, good question here. Bastion is which family? Bastion. I don't remember. 
Uh, ooh, yeah. This is the family. Maybe we need to not tax them <laughs> so heavily. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 maybe? Honestly, I didn't think that they should be rolling in cash. Especially with the beer and stuff. We're rolling in cash, personally, which I have to say, quite happy with. Resource sold out. Um, a tanning family? No. The only kind of family I want is like a farming family, which I don't think the king had one. You know, they had butcher, tanning, and mining, which we don't really care about any of them. Okay. So, I literally just gave them money. Mortman family. Mm, I don't know that's a problem. They probably don't have money, but they should also be making money from selling. They're one of the few families that don't really need money because they're self-sufficient. Cannonville, I did just give you crap, I think. Actually, maybe I didn't. Whatever, you can starve. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm wondering if maybe I shouldn't have, like, expanded as quickly. Like, I think there's definitely something to be said about, like... Yeah, I think next time we play this, I think we start with the smallers group of people and get them self-sufficient and then slowly start adding families in and be very particular about who we add in because i think we just got like way too big and now we're having to spend like half of our life just like um saving people's life i feel like um we have everything we need we do have everything we need villagers starved to death cannonville well then yeah i mean Oh, there goes the Lacey family. Well, that's fine, because now guess what? We don't have to worry about the Lacey family. <laughs> uh, Cannonville maybe was my fault. Villager starving. The Herod family. You guys should not be starving! You guys have all the freaking money in the world! They just bought a bunch of gold, so... Uh, smelting. I'm gonna go ahead and say no. Yeah... I think we kind of have a better idea of what we want to do in the future. I actually think I'm probably just going to wrap the episode up here. So I think the biggest thing is we got to be a lot more peculiar about how we just start expanding. Um, and we really just need to like stabilize, I think. Um, the problem is you get the king and then the king wants all these like random things. But then again, I'm wondering if the king would request stuff that like we don't have. So for example, if we don't ever build a miner, you know, is he going to request mining goods? I don't actually know. Um... But yeah, it's just like we keep running into these issues where everyone's just starving. And like weird families too. Like you should not be starving. The Herod family should have money. They should have money. So why are they not going and buying crap then is the question. Yeah, they have five gold. So why are you starving? We have people selling. Which then makes me wonder if I need more storefronts. I almost feel like... <sighs> People should be able to buy from a storefront 24 hours a day, which I don't think is a possibility. Let's actually look at the patch here real quick. So let's look at the additional updates and see what they're doing. So they're doing UI improvements. Um, you can now hide HUD access. Okay, cool. Skills are similar to professions. Um, skills can't be leveled up. Interesting. Woodworking. We've expanded the abilities of each villager to work with the wood. Everyone's now able to cut down trees. Ah! This will also plant random trees and tree spots allowing you to decorate your zones with greenery. Okay, that's good. Furniture variants. Wall and table decorations purchased from any family. Uh, highly requested feature to trade with families now also supported. When a family opens their shop, you can commit to trade for the current market price. Okay. That's good too. New floors and ability to exile. And then balancing the list on the priorities. Um, many of you report how difficult it is to sometimes maintain a stable economy. Yeah? And how specific zones struggle for a living and have difficulties maintaining production. Yeah? We're aware of these issues we're striving to improve on in the next update. We have a stable and balanced game is high priority for us. Keep in mind we're still in early access. Everything's evolving. Blah, blah, blah. And also, they're still adding stuff, so it'd be counterproductive to, add, to fix it. So that makes sense. But they're bringing more updates. Okay, cool. So yeah, I think we're going to wrap this episode up. I love this game. I'm excited to see more. But yeah, with without a balance patch like right now just we went way too big too quickly and i think we need to like treat this a lot more um we need a lot more specific or be a lot more specific with what we're doing and just stabilize like smaller families and honestly there's also something to be said about just not accepting certain families like there's no reason to have a blacksmith like the only reason you have a blacksmith is so that you could um like and that's the weird thing 
Cause like, okay, so who's the blacksmith selling the crap to? No one. Who's the turn? Uh, the Perov family selling their stuff to? Well, they, they actually have quite a few people. But you know, if we don't have them, so like for example, if we don't have the Turner family, if we don't have the Cannonville family, we don't have the Perov family, or sorry, the Freebos family, then the Perov has no one to sell their stuff to, and so then they're starving. So to make them like actually make money, we need all these other families. But then these other families don't actually like make anything. Like the stone blocks, okay, those are somewhat useful. Um, then these guys are doing like what are you guys actually making here? Stone, iron ore firewood bricks yeah i mean okay so eventually those are probably going to be worth it these guys are doing stone tiles limestone tiles which yeah okay i mean and once we start doing like houses out of different material that stuff is nice but the perop family or the cannonville family definitely worthless i kind of still don't understand the hunting family that one's kind of weird to me and then even leatherworking and the raven knot um the tannery yeah, and the butcher, all those maybe could say no to. The butcher, I think, is okay once you get like the pigs going, and you know the farmers get animals as well. I think that it, that works. And the fishing family is fine, but I don't know. They just don't make that much fish, and I'm wondering why they're not doing nets. If they can't access the nets, or maybe because these are closer, they're using those first? I don't know. But yeah. Anyways, very enjoyable game, and it definitely has a um a place like it definitely hits a certain itch you know the whole management thing like from factoro or something like that where you're trying to get everything self-sustaining which i love so anyways hope you enjoyed it we'll be back here next month when they add the um update definitely for sure so like i said hope you enjoyed it drop a like comment all that fun stuff i'll see you guys later bye everyone 